Okay, back again with real money trades for my master class over at simpleswitch.teachable.com. If you go over there and take my master class, it will get you up to speed on what I'm doing with this real money trading series. Growing a small account in the futures market and with swing trading. And I chose the futures market to go with this because I don't have to worry about the PDT rule and I can day trade. In my master class, I take you from day one to I want to be a trader, then selecting a broker, opening an account, then teaching you how I build winning strategies that fits you. So I call it the PLG, personality, lifestyle, and goals. But not just that, strategies that have a, a proven statistical probability of success. Once we build our strategies, then we build a trade plan to go with those strategies. Two completely different things, traders. You need a good strategy and a good trade plan to be successful. Then I sim trade those strategies, and now we're into the real money trading portion of building a winning strategy. That is what this series is about. I plan on trading these accounts until the end of 2023, and we'll see how far we can grow them in one year's time. Now, I don't know if these strategies are going to be successful. We're gonna find this out together, and if they're not, hopefully I can tweak them along the way to make them successful. I started my futures account with $1,700 because that was the bare minimum I felt like I could start with. And then I started my swing trading account with $2,000. Again, I thought, felt that was the bare minimum I can start with. In my master class, I explain all these details and why I make the decisions, what you're seeing on the screens, the charts that you're seeing, all the tools, all that stuff. This class can benefit beginner traders and pro traders alike. I do trade with my algorithm, but you don't need that in order to benefit from my master class. You can trade with whatever tool it is for you. If you're thinking about taking somebody else's class, my master class can help you choose what other strategy might be right for you. This way, if you're gonna spend a lot of money to buy somebody else's strategy, it would really be good if that strategy would fit you. And I teach you all about that in my master class. So go check it out. But for now, let's get into today's video. Okay, so here we are in the futures market with MGC, a gold uh, gold contract. So we had the trade set up right here. Let me move this over so you could see it. And um, yeah, so here was the trade right here, which I did not take because I couldn't carry this contract and the MES contract at the same time because our account has now gone down to that level. So we got to grow it back to be able to do that. Um, so it, it came down here as a loser um, and then it speed bumped. So I jumped in on the speed bump on this trade. And then I could have and should have probably just got out at this bar right here. But with uh, MGC, the probabilities are definitely in my favor that we're going to we're gonna hit this bar. But with speed bumps, this is the target I like to get. This is the squeeze more out to this target and be happy kind of thing. Um, but uh, it, I didn't, you know, I got in the trade, walked away, and came back. And this is where we're at uh, on the 30-minute uh, candle, 15-minute candle. There we go. So now I get a more accurate look of what we trade this on the 15 minute candle. Okay, here we go. So in this trade um, is what it is right here was the initial trade. Um, and then this speed bump coincides with also a, um, a long trade, right? So we're speed bumping and we have a long trade coinciding with this, except this long trade, I will be marking up from here, which also puts us at the target it already hit, right? So based on the speed bump and the target that I already hit, I'm not really in a good space here. Let's go remove this. Let me double check something here. I may have done it again. I may have marked this up on the 30-minute uh, candle. I did mark it up on the 30-minute candle. So, all right, so we're in MGC. We're in long right now in MGC. There was a short trade here. I trade this in the 15-minute candle. That's the strategy. And unfortunately, remove. I looked at it on the 30 minute candle. Again, I just talked about checking the charts. This is why normally I don't do this. Normally I have different monitors with different stuff and I might have to reset up my screen recorder and just switch around on it to the different tickers so that I have the, each ticker has its own chart so I don't make the same mistake. So unfortunately, this is where we're at right now. So let me mark the where I'm in this trade so I can just get out basically break even here. Um, let's see, so we're in at 188, so I screwed this up. So I had been paying attention to this, could have had some winners here um, and growing the account, right? So now I'm missing out on more winners and taking losers. And I'm taking winners and I'm holding them through to become losers because I wasn't paying attention and my my mind is not focused on this. So juggling a lot of stuff today at the same time as trying to do this. 
and uh, just clearly not focused. So this is where we're in this trade right now. Hopefully we can get through here. I'll move my stop up to this level and then see if we get lucky and make some money today. Uh, literally get lucky, but at least I'll get my stop in and uh, break even and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, we still got the algo still showing strength. We're not rolling over, we're not compressing that much. If we start to compress a lot and roll over, then I'll have to just hit eject. But uh, right now we still look like we got some possibility. So I'm gonna let this play out a little bit. Actually, I need to leave here soon too. So if um, if this doesn't get in the zone before I have to leave, I may just call it and say, chalk it up as $24 loss on a casino trade. And um, it is what it is, but we'll give it a chance and then I'll bring the conclusion to you. Okay, so just got back home. So we ended up uh, getting out of that trade with profit. I just said it and forget it. Got my text message, checked my account, good to go, and then came home and double checked it again. So right here we have that two that we exited right here at 1892. So if we go over to the My Strategy Manager, show you that. Okay, so My Strategy Manager right here. Um, so you can see where we ended up uh, closing that trade right here. So we end up with $45 in profit for the day. Uh, on that trade, which was, you know, a bit of an accidental trade, uh, looking at the 30 minute candle. And the reason why it's accidental is because I didn't vet the 30 minute candle. I know what the 50 minute candle is going to do for me probability wise, but I'm not clear on what the 30 minute candle is going to do. So um, it could, it could have fantastic results. I just don't know. So that's why I had to move my stop and target and just uh, look to um, exit that trade for some profit. So a uh, bit of an accidental trade, but we'll take it. So I'm going to go here because um, that was a speed bump, but it was a speed bump based on a 30 minute candle and that's not what we're trading. So I'm going to put in casino so I don't give a false impression to my uh, tracking system of what's being successful and what's not. So casino is what we changed out for that. So let's go look at the scaling ladder. So scaling ladders, we still are missing those three bars. So bummed about that. So we'll see. Maybe those can come back here soon. Um, if we run over to the dashboard. So dashboard, February, hey, we got a green day. Had a $2.50 green day there and then lots of big red stuff. So over here we have $3,700. We start with the, the combined accounts, uh, futures and swing trading. Now we're at $61.25, um, slowly coming back. And then in the futures market, we start with $1,700. And that's where we end up with uh, $2,400 basically. And swing trading uh, down here, we started with $2,000. And now we're at 3,665, right? So we still got a ways to go to get back to where we were. But, you know, maybe we can make February look like the, what January looked like towards the end here going forward. So that'll be the plan. Uh, Friday, I may not trade on Friday because I'm going to be uh, busy with some other stuff. But we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll be able to trade Friday. And then a Sunday, I, may, I might have to skip Sunday as well. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Hopefully we can not miss too many other days so we can grow this account. All right, everybody, that's where we're at. We'll see you on the next video.